Hello, this is Hai Zhao Yang from Shanghai Tech University. Today, I would like to introduce our research work on COVID-19. Here shows statistics of the cases for the COVID-19 worldwide, according to Johns Hopkins University. Up to now, there are more than 21 million cases in total, and more than 700,000 people died from this pandemic. However, effective treatment options for this infectious disease remain very limited. As you may know, SARS-CoV-2 is the pathogen causing COVID-19. From the beginning of COVID-19 outbreak, we sought to work on the important drug targets of SARS-CoV-2 and discover potential drug leads. In the life cycle of SARS-CoV-2, this virus encodes large polyproteins for its replication and the transcription. But the functional polyproteins need to be digested by a key enzyme called main proteins, also called MEMPRO, before they do their job. So the main protein becomes an attractive target for antiviral drug design. In order to rapidly discover lead compounds for clinical use, we initiated a program of combined structure-assisted drug design, virtual drug screening, and high-throughput screening to identify new drug leads that target the source converse to main protease. First, we determined the high resolution crystal structure of SARS CoV-2 main protease in complex with the preclinical inhibitor called N3. This is the first protein structure to be determined from this deadly virus. Through a combination of structure-based virtual screening and high throughput screening, we added over 10,000 compounds, including approved drugs, drug candidates in clinical trials, and other pharmaceutically active compounds as inhibitors of main protease. Six of these inhibit main protease with IC50 values, ranging from hundreds of nanomolar to low micromolar. One of the compound, Absalon, is of particular interest. It showed promising antiviral activity in cell-based assays. In addition, it has been investigated previously for the treatment of multiple diseases, including bipolar disorders and hearing loss, and its safety in humans has been demonstrated in clinical trials. We have also determined the crystal structure of sars cov to main protein in complex with Comifor. Comifor is an approved anti-cancer drug. This is the first reported structure of any sars cov to protein in complex with an approved drug. Our results demonstrate the efficacy of our screening strategy which can lead to the rapid discovery of drug leads with clinical potential in response to new infectious diseases where no specific drugs or vaccines are available. At last, I would like to thank our fabulous collaborators and all the scientists who have contributed to this work. Thank you for your attention.